cockerel and we're getting all ready to make riso patate cozze. We just went shopping at the mercato, so nonna liberata. What are we gonna do first? We start with marinade. And for our marinade, we're just gonna start with some plain water. Yes. Uh, uh, white wine. White wine. White glasses. Maybe two, you know, depending how you feel. Yeah. <laughs> it's your birthday, you know? Yeah. You gotta have a drink. Some salt. Some salt. Mm. Some oil. Some extra virgin olive oil. Just, you know, as much as you like, right? Couple spoon. Couple spoons. Now I put the, the parsley. There's some chopped parsley. Parsley is in everything here, so. Onions, and red onions. onions. Beautiful red onions we bought. Can you use the white onions too? Yes, yes, you can use. And zucchini. zucchini. And zucchini, oh, some people they put zucchini and some people they don't put it. Yes, right. But you put it? Yes. Why do you put it? Because I like it. Because you like it? It gives, I find that like it's zucchini. It's more taste. Yeah, it gives like a sweet taste. Uh, sweet and more, uh, uh, doesn't dry the the, the tiena. Yeah, because sometimes riso patate cozza can be a little bit dry. Yes. So the zucchina has a lot of moisture. Yes. And some tomatoes. Tomatoes for a little bit color. Tomatoes. Now you don't want to use tomato sauce, right? No, you no, 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 no. Whole tomatoes. No. Potatoes. And very thinly sliced potatoes. They look kind of like potato chips. You know, more stay in this marinade, the better it's the taste after. So like you can marinate it yesterday, last night? And no, a couple hours before. So you can make your marinade in the morning and then when you come home, you can throw it all together and just bake it. This is gonna marinate for a little while. Okay. And those are the cotze. Oh, uh, we have our beautiful cotza yes. that we bought and we open already some. I now. still can't taste it. I still can't eat it like this, no. right? <laughs> Better not, no? Better not. No. This, uh, I'm really good at this. <laughs> I'm very, very good at this, I'm just telling you. How do you, how, what's the secret here? How, what are you doing? No, you, you have to just... Uh, you push it yeah. apart, right? And then yeah. you gotta get your knife See, in there. this way. Not that way. This way. Okay. Okay, you just push. You broke. What? <laughs> push hard. Sometimes. And then you put it through the knife. So this is broken. And then you gotta cut where it's attached, right? Yeah. Okay. So you cut. Okay, so I push. No, 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 this way. no, no. This way. I push this way. Yeah. And, and it moves. Oh, I can feel it. It moves yeah. apart. And then you. When one side right. overlaps and from then here. from here. Yeah. Okay. See. Oh, I did it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay, you can push more here. Can you cut yourself with these knives? No. Are they sharp? No, this yeah. one too. Okay. And now pull Wait. push it open. Yes. Help me out. Okay, push more. I don't have the strength of a knife. Now, yeah, we have to cut to see here it's Touched. Right, you cut where it's attached. Yes. Try one more. Okay. No, the other way? Okay. Yeah, see? Oh, I heard it. You can feel it. It popped open this time, so now I'm quite confident I can do this. You know what? Can I just. Hold on. <laughs> there you go. Okay. It's alright? It's easy. One clove of garlic because you don't want too much of a garlicky taste. You want to be able to right. taste if you the like muscles. You can put more. But you want to taste the muscles, yes. right? That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we can take the. We have our tiella. Mm -hmm. And what do you, in Italian, this is a tiella di creta, right? Yes. And this is a glazed terracotta pot. 
And this is really great for baking. It's really, really good. The, the heat really mm -hmm. cooks the food yeah. evenly, right? Yes. Now, they used to use this years ago before they had metal pans, mm -hmm. right? You only used to cook on in one of those. We cook oh. on the fire. Over the fire? Do we have a fire? Over the fire, yeah. Oh, we have a fireplace. But maybe, maybe we use we the have, oven. We put the underneath and then we cover with the special cover oh. and put the fire on top. But today we use the oven? Yeah, okay. it's like cover. Oh. Okay, now we start to assembly the... Put some onions. You have to put the onions use first. This. Yeah. Okay. Get all our onions in here. We put some tomato, uh, potatoes. Okay. Potatoes are at the bottom. That's they are heavy. <laughs> so it's like when you you're building something. Yeah. Right? You, you have to spread spread them all out. Yeah. Okay, I got it. I found an onion. What do I do now? No, we, we use salt. Oh, okay. Don't worry. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Now, we put the muscle. Like this. Okay. Then we put the onion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, we put the muscle. And do you have the juice of the muscles yes. too? Mm -hmm. Very important. Save your juice. Don't throw that away. That's going to give you a lot of flavor in your marinade. So, where did riso patate cozza come from? When did you start making it? Well, it's an old, old recipe. This is like your grandmother's recipe, yes. maybe? And did she, she taught you how to make it? Right. Yeah? How old were you when you started making it? Well, well we started really soon, 10 years old. 10 years old? And you can yeah. make this with your eyes closed? Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay, now we take the rice. We don't put to the rice. Oh no. We can put it now. See? And you want to make sure you spoon your rice mm -hmm. over every muscle. muscle. So it's kind of like a stuffed mm -hmm. muscles kind of thing. Do do this is really actually similar to a Spanish dish called paella, but Italians do everything better. So, I mean, this is better than paella. Have you ever had paella? Do oh, you yeah. Like, you like fish and, and chicken. And... So this is like a pugliese paella. Now, the rice is raw, but it's going to cook in our marinade here when it's in the oven. So don't worry about that. Okay, now we'll take one tablespoon and it will spread it a little bit. Okay. Okay. What? Okay. Now we take the, this is the cheese. This is pecorino cheese. And just sprinkle pecorino. Yeah. We take all the um, zucchina. Zucchina we put all the Great. So it's kind of like you're layering everything over each other. A lot of layered flavors. And these are just really classic, clean flavors that go very well together. And this is like a one dish kind of meal, yes. right? Because you have the rice, you have the katsa. It's like everything. Vegetable. I like it. You can put some onions too. Okay. Onions I saved on purpose. I saved them. <laughs> some tomatoes too. And for color, we add our tomatoes on top. This is Italian flag, red, green. <laughs> and how appropriate, because you know, <laughs> the day after the liberation, we yes. celebrate with riso patate cotta. Very patriotic dish to me. You know, my sister, it's, uh, her name is Italia. <laughs> Italia Liberata. So we got all our tomatoes mm -hmm. on here, I think. Just one more. Some more floating. Now we put again the, yeah, the muscle. We're gonna put more muscles on top. All over. All over that. 
you ever make a design? Oh yeah. Yeah? You have a smiley face sometimes? <laughs> sometimes happy, sometimes sad? So how else do they make riso para la tecaza? Because I've heard of it being made with the zucchina, without the zucchina. Do other people put other stuff in it? You can do uh, without the zucchina, or you can put even artichoke in. Artichokes, really? Instead of a zucchina. Okay, now we put a lot of artichokes today. Yeah. yeah. You put the, the rice again. Okay. In every cotta, yeah. right? You see the smell of the. Oh, the smell is great. The cotta. You can smell the seed. That means they're fresh, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the guy who sold them to us, I mean, he really liked them. No, they are really good cotta. He was eating them raw by himself, so then I trust that it's good. You know, I believe that guy. He really, he really did it with passion, you know? Do you ever eat them raw? Sometimes. Sometimes? But then you don't get sick. No. No. Okay. okay. We'll do one more. One more all over, right? Some cheese. Spread a little bit of cheese here. Beautiful. And you put all the potato on top. All the potatoes I got left, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So everything is there. All the zucchini too. Yeah. Everything. Okay. You make close together because you have to cover them. I understand. Then you put it as well. Can I help you? Yeah, you can help me. Are you kidding? Please. This looks really good already. That's it. See, it doesn't take long to. No, make. not at all. I love this recipe. Now we take all the juice and put it in there, right? Just See, pour it in. Just enough to cook. You see, when you see from the side, just enough. Yeah. Just level mm -hmm. with the whole tiara here. Now you put the cheese, and, and we are finished. More cheese, and then we're yeah. done. So now we're finished, right? Yes, we cover with uh, foil. We're going to cover this with tin foil, and now it's going to go in the oven. And how long is it going to cook About for? an hour to 250. Okay, an hour. So we covered our riso panate cotza with uh, tin foil, and now it's going to go in the oven and cook for about an hour at 350. So I'm going to put that, it's heavy. Okay. So now, while it cooks, what do you want to do? You want to play cards? No, we go to the to the garden. We pick some fava. Garden. And we eat with the cheese. Really? Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Why not? So if you saw my great gardening skills back there, I picked these fava by hand, and we're gonna eat them. And Nonna Liberata is gonna show me how we eat them here in Puglia. So, if you please. Okay. So you just break it open? Yes. You open it like this. Take the, the fava. You take one and uh, eat. I would just eat this, right? Yeah, like this. And then you take one piece of cheese. And what kind of cheese is this? This is pecorino? Pecorino. Mm. 
I like cheese better. Okay. Oh, good. It's really nice the two flavors together. So you always eat them like this. Mm -hmm. And fava, you know, can be cooked. We use them dried a lot. We love fava in Puglia, right? You can do a lot of things. A lot of things you can do. I like. Okay. So now the kale is ready. It's ready. You sure? Yeah. We see. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Look at the color. We have such a beautiful golden brown or dark brown rather color, but that's okay, right? That's yes, dark. Yes. You want it like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can we're ready to eat this, no? Okay. We let's get a nice plate here. Now we've cut. I want a big piece, right? Okay. <laughs> Don't be cheap. See now, uh, you have to uh, let it stay for about 10 minutes. This way the, the all the comes together. When it comes out of the oven, you want to let it sit, right? So it doesn't yeah. fall apart as soon mm -hmm. as you cut it. Sometimes it's too hot. It's uh, like a lasagna. Ah, yeah, or parmigiana mm -hmm. that it needs to it needs to solidify a little yeah. bit before you can eat it. Oh wow. That looks so beautiful. Okay. I love all the colors. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna taste a little bit with me? Okay. Grab a fork and let's, let's try. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. That's amazing. And then you you take with your finger, see the muscle. Where's, where's what do you muscle? eat? I find the muscle and do that. Oh, like full like this, mm -hmm. and you just eat. That's really good. I'm gonna make this every day. Every day on your birthday. Every day on your birthday, I'm gonna make this. Okay, and I'm gonna think about you. <laughs> Once a year is a lot, but thank you for being on the You're show welcome. with me. Thank you for being thank my you nana. You. And happy thank birthday. You. Thank you very much. Ciao.